Hi guys, Pizza here. This is my updated Utility Ancient Artifact User GVG build. As for more detailed skill explanation, you can check out my previous video. And if you haven't watched it yet, I'll leave the link in the description down below. As always, feel free to adjust anything if you have better item and card option available in your account. Now let's get into it. First, for stat allocation, max out Vit for Def and HP and then int for more M def and stat resist. Then allocate the rest of the stats to dex for casting time reduction. I already have Mil B here for additional stats and 6 pieces from the Royal Salad for anti-fatal buff just to give you an idea of my overall stats. Friendly reminder to always use consumables which will be beneficial for our build. For GVG, the stats you need to balance are the following. HP Auto attack reduction Skill damage reduction Def and M def percent Damage reduction Magic damage reduction Resistances Element reduction Demi human reduction And lastly, medium size reduction against physical classes As for the rune placement, again, you don't need core level 7 for utility health to be effective in GVG my core level is 6 over 7 in this build to prioritize high first line of bow shelter rune to remove fixed casting time of super long star wave. As for the attribute runes, equip all the blue runes that will add more reductions to be tanky enough to consistently apply memory erase and attackable black hole state your enemies. As for the arcane runes, other option is galaxy rune for a chance to retain your optic camouflage when dispelled or removed by enemies. Now let's head on to equipments. Again, just adjust anything if you have better equipment or card options. For offhand, I'm using marine soul bulwark for element reductions. Other option is sins of living if you want faster cooldown for your skills so you can spam more. As for the enchant, aim for tenacity 4. Card options for offhand are Snake Demon Gorgon or Basilisk Card. For armor, I'm using Tide Rider with element reductions as first line of random attribute. As for the enchants, aim for high status resist. Card options for armor are Garm Star, Angeling Star, or Ghost Ring Card to counter Chronomancer Bombs. For garment, I'm using Mint Trench Coat for magic reduction. Other option for garment is Best Poke Coat if you want damage reduction. As for the enchant, aim for high double status resist or divine blessing 4 with status resist of your choice. Card options for garment are Deviling Star or Dark Assassin Cross RMS card. For foot gear, other option for the first random attribute is element reduction. As for the enchants, same as garment, aim for double status resist or divine blessing 4 with status resist of your choice. Card options for foot gear are Dark Lord Star or Moonlight Flower Star card. For accessories, there will be synthesized version of Survival Ring in the coming patch. By then, I'll be using Martyr's Necklace as main equip and Survival Ring as shadow equipment. As for the enchant, aim for Tenacity 3 or 4. For weapon, I'm using Raging Hurricane for medium size reduction because it's cheaper compared to Saintly Glaive. But if you have plus 15 Saintly Glaive, use that instead for more damage and magic reduction. As for the enchant, you can go for double high status resist or tenacity 3 or 4 with status resist of your choice. Card options are Pashar Star or Sniper Devin card. For headgear, other option is Moonlight Bunny which will come out this coming August in the headwear gacha. I'm using Dark Illusion Star card to reduce fixed casting time of expel. For face gear, other option is Rental GVG Face Aviation Goggles. If you want longer range for space compression and super long star wave. For mouth gear, I actually changed it back to Angry Snarl for more demi human reduction. For back gear, I'm using this for more element reduction and sustain to your allies as well. Other option is Fate Wheel or Rock and Roll Cactus if you want more cooldown reduction. As for the tail, I'm using this for more status resistance so I can move more since my prior right now is expelling. Now for shadow equipment, the enchants are same as the main equipment. Other option for offhand is Arcane Codex if you want more cooldown reduction. Other option for Shadow Armor is Staunch Gloat or Staunch Armor for the Fear Immunity. For Garment, I'm using this for combo with Green Rattan Shoes, which gives 5% magic reduction. 
Again, for the accessories, I'm planning to switch my survival ring synth to shadow equipment and my tears necklace as main equipment. As for the Oracle Extra, I'm using Orlean's gown to reduce the fixed casting time of Expel. For the defensive Oracle Extra, other option is Meteorite Armor. But take note that you cannot use Comet Armor as Shadow Equip if you are going to use Meteorite Armor as Oracle Extra. As for the Relic, Elf Spicola is the best for Ancient Artifact user to insta-cast Super Long Star Wave as well as to reduce the fixed casting time of Expel. Now let's head on to Gameplay POV. As to why I'm playing Utility Ancient Artifact user as Expeller, first is because of Optic Camouflage, which is very useful in GVG to counter target locking classes, meaning the enemy cannot use a single player targeting skill or auto attack you while the buff is still active, but take note that this can be dispelled as well as get stilled by Jorm's plunder skill. Before diving, cast Optic Camouflage first, then use Anti-CC consumables from time to time. So you can move freely and to lessen getting chained CC. But nevertheless, even if you got chained CC, you can still apply the buff with the passive skill Uncle's Protection, which is when enemy deals damage, there is 50% chance to use memory erase on them, which can mess up their skill rotation and auto attack as well. For offensive skill, make sure to use Super Long Star Wave if there is stack of enemy in front of you to maximize the skill's attackable black hole state. You can also use Super Star Long Wave for canceling Doomsday. And another offensive skill is Space Compression which is a good pick of skill. Pull enemies one at a time from their stack and expel them ASAP if they die. Don't forget to always stock up your consumables for maximum output and refill your anti-fatal food every time you enter GVG maps. Just find your own gameplay, either you want to prio expel or you can just use cooldown reduction items so you can spam Superstar Long Wave, Space Compression, and Optic Camouflage. That's all for this video guys. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well. Bye guys, see you in the next venture.